Hello everyone, welcome back to Career Q and I am back again with a new video in which I will be reviewing another company and another major service based company which hires a lot of freshers and a lot of people and that is IBM. IBM is also one of the major players of the service based companies and uh, it is among the big players like Accenture, TCS, Wipro, etc, etc, etc. In today's video, I will be talking all about uh, IBM, uh, the things that you need to know, uh, should you join it as a fresher, how the work culture is like, what are the hikes, what is the salary, how are the trainings given, it's, and a lot more. So if you're someone who has visited our channel for the first time, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, the one position in which freshers are taken in within IBM is that of associate and as an associate, uh, the basic salary that you will be getting is somewhere around 4 to 4.5 lakh depending on the uh, different softwares and depending on different colleges that IBM goes to. So uh, that is the base or the starting salary and the starting position from where freshers get hired. So if we talk about trainings, then IBM is one organization that does a distribution of domain way before uh, you are getting trained. So once you are joined, once you have joined, uh, they distribute you according to, they put you into certain domain and then they give you training depending on the domain that they have put you into. So you can be in the Java domain, uh, the training for that is somewhere around 1 to 1.5 months. Or you can be in some other domain where you know a higher amount of training is required so that training can last for three to four months as well but the duration is not fixed it only comes to light once you have joined and once you've got your domain now how are these domains selected then that is also completely random and uh, you know which domain you are put in you have no control over it and they just look into your profile they might have some algorithm to segregate you into separate domains however that is not something that uh, we can tell you which domain you can or you will be going if we talk about the quality of trainings then the quality is fairly good and you get to know a lot of things so actually the training whatever for whatever duration you get the trainings are of good quality and you get to learn a lot of things so uh, can you join in as a fresher yes because you will get uh, get a lot of knowledge here okay another thing is that once the training is over you are further put for uh, put into different projects now this project distribution also is completely random and you or your performance in the training and those factors they don't really play uh, much in this decision of which project you will be going into However, one thing that you can be rest assured is that uh, you will be learning a lot whichever project you go into because uh, you know the work culture that is present in IBM is considered to be one of the best when compared to this other service based organizations. So you know in uh, IBM freshers are actually given a good opportunity to work in the project and to know more about it. So yes, uh, you will be learning a lot when you are put into the project also it can be a support project or it can be a development project whatever it may be you will be learning that is the main point um, if we talk about the types of projects that ibm has then ibm also has a majority of support and maintenance kind of projects and uh, although there are a lot of development projects as well but still if you see in the ratio kind of the ratio in which the support projects are there the numbers are much higher when compared to the development so as i've previously said the work culture in ibm is really good and uh, it is professional so you know people they treat you professionally and they there's a lot of professionalism that's only that I'm going to say uh, the work culture is good and you won't feel like you have to run away of it and uh, you have to uh, leave the organization the other day because you are so frustrated by your manager and you are overloaded with something those are not there since the work culture is good the work-life balance automatically becomes good and that is why the stress and burnout factors are lesser heard uh, the, these such cases are lesser heard when we talk about IBM uh, however, there is one thing and probably one of the major reasons why employees have to make a switch after a few years of joining. The reason being the less amount of salary hike that is given each year and the complexity when it comes to promotions. So getting a promotion in IBM becomes a major task and a difficult one I would say because generally the promotions, I don't know what algorithm goes behind it but people do not get promoted easily. They have to work a lot, they have to take a lot of effort before they are get uh, before they get promoted and you know without promotion the basic salary hike that you get in IBM is somewhere around 5 to 6 percent sometimes if the organization do does very good then you can expect somewhere around 8 percent but generally this is the range from 5 to 8 percent which is not much and since you do not get higher promotion 
uh, you know, uh, staying after one to two years, if you do not switch in, then uh, you will be lagging behind or, you know, uh, you, your counterparts or your peers will be getting much more when compared to you. So the uh, freshers are not really left with much of an option. They generally go in for this uh, switch after working for one or two years in IBM. Uh, apart from this, I think this is the only con that is there in IBM. And uh, actually, this is a big con. We cannot say that it's uh, not. Uh, I will make a different video on the salary structure that IBM follows in a uh, separate one because it needs a good detailing. And if I put this, uh, put that factor also in this video, this video will be very long and all of you will run away. I know that for sure. Uh, anyways, so the final thing is uh, the employee benefits that IBM gives. So IBM gives all the normal average benefits that uh, almost all other uh, service-based organizations are giving. There are some travel and transport uh, communication benefits that are there. There are some internet reimbursements that IBM gives. Uh, apart from that, there is medical insurance and also some food coupons and those things that uh, you get from IBM and it's probably you get from all other service-based companies so not nothing major uh, but yes you do get these benefits coming back to the one question uh, that whether you should join in as a fresher then yes you should definitely join in as a fresher if you're got, if you've got a chance because uh, the training and the work culture and uh, the learnings that you will uh, that will occur in this place will be really good and then of course after having learned for one or two years you can make a switch to grow financially as well so that's all that I have for you in today's video. As I've said, I will be making another video to describe all the, uh, the salary structure that is followed. But for now, that's all that I have. And if you have anything else in mind, if I've missed out on any point, then please put them down in the comment section so that we help everyone. And uh, if there is any other organization that you want me to review, then put the names down as well. If you have any other queries, concerns, suggestions that you want me, uh, you want to give to me, then put them down as well. I'll come again with another new video. Till then, stay tuned to CareerQ. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.